Uh, my anus. My anus start. Welcome back to the show that we were going to call Pedal Files, and then we... <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> hey, folks, happy holidays. It's Demo and the Yellow Sheldon. We were going to look at some more dumb websites. And I got a tiny hat on and no sleeves. How do clothes work? <laughs> how do clothes do you, work? Do you understand? I have no idea how clothes work. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to look at Velo News' holiday gift guide as a start. I'm just going to see how it goes. Look at those gifts. Look at them. So do you know much about these Wahoo things? I know nothing about them. No, I've, been hearing, know. I've been hearing about them. Um, oh, we had one of those at one point. What did we do with it? Sold it. I like this stripification what is that, that we have going on here. I don't know. I think it's aesthetic. It's not a boost plate. Boost plate. <laughs> yeah, so when you ride your bike over, you're just like... <laughs> <laughs> so um, I, what I hear is that this is... It hooks up to the computer. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a trainer without the rear wheel, so you don't burn up your tire or your or fuck your wheel up. And it's variable uh, resistance. And I, I thought it was variable incline. Is that what this thing is? The middle part? That would be cool. I th is that? Does it move up or something? I don't know. Huh. The most pleasurable way to do it is to remove your saddle and put... Oh, sorry. <laughs> and put the Wahoo Smart Trainer inside your perineum. <laughs> inside your perineum. <laughs> your perineum? Perineums. Paramecium. Damn, shit. That's $2,500 or $2,000 and $50. You a headwind. That Head, is a headwind and the angry inch. Oh my god, dude! I'm trying to get some headwind tonight. Yeah, it, <laughs> look, no, look, it it lifts and lowers the front of your bike in real time, based and on an, your. And you an know what? Athlete. I had this idea. Yeah, it's crazy. I wanted to talk to Todd because he does VR. Mm -hmm. He went to school for it, mm -hmm. and I wanted to have like like HTC Vive plugins, basically for Oops, sorry. like Wahoo shit. Mm -hmm. So you could wear your HTC Vive and be like. Riding around Mars, or like, oh, well, you were talking about that, like riding through Doom. Well, I think that there's already that Zwift thing, right? I don't know what is this. So Zwift, if you look, you can pull it up because the Zwift is what that is is like um, the virtual world that your trainer allows you to tap into. So just yeah, just look at images. So it's basically yeah, you're another trainer and you're on this looking at the screen and you're looking at a ton of people and yeah, so that's yeah, like this like but that. not shitty. Well, like this but you're like. Going through a psychedelic night. Like, did you ever see the, um, it wasn't Rick and Morty, but it was done by the guys who did Rick and Morty, their VR game. Oh, yeah. It was like that accounting was VR. Dope. Imagine, yeah, yeah. like, a world really disconcerting like, and bizarre, like accounting VR. Where it's like, oh, hey, would you ride your bike over here? I don't need to kill this guy. Yeah. And your bike powers this saw that cuts him in half. They also did a Rick and Morty VR experience. Uh, it's really hilarious. But anyway, so I thought that'd be cool, too. But the, I think the limiting factor here is that so the reason why you want this world is to explore it. Right. Right. You can't explore it. You're on a rail. There's no way to interact in this world other than look. You know, you're not like... But you could like be a monster truck. That'd be instead cool. Instead of being a bike a rider. Bicycle? Because there's nothing just shittier than being a bike rider. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, then why wouldn't nothing. you just ride your car to the store? Why would you just ride your monster truck to the, <laughs> to store? the store? Like everyone does. Um, okay, so they're, they're already working on it. They're, it's getting Folks, Yeah, it's getting there. It's I am all game. about get rich quick schemes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I know I'm gonna get rich with yeah. quick schemes. Let me just let me just let me just let me just do this. <clears throat> so I was looking at these the other day, and it's kind of cool, but it's kind of the most ugly thing I've ever seen. Um, first of all, oh, it's a it's a yeah, it's so, a fender strut that you put shit on. So, I mean, we've seen the whittling oh, away nice. of what it constitute like what constitutes a rack for mm -hmm. years now. You know, mm -hmm. for a while, uh, what is it, Axiom? The streamliner rack? Yeah. So the streamliner rack is a road bike rack that... Um, yeah, the one that we stock is yeah. pretty much... So this rack here, it's very, very narrow. And as you can see narrow. from this picture, you know, it's literally... You're not supposed to carry anything on top of it. It's designed to just be a rail system for your panniers. So, you know, obviously when you move a little bit forward into that idea, you end up with this you end up thing. here um let's look at this it's really light 350 grams 115 dollars it's each. carbon fiber no 325 dollars oh my god yeah it's 325 god damn. um again some bikes are that we sell bikes that are cheaper than that yeah it's interesting i mean i guess if if you you've got a dad and it's really hard to shop 
and, and you they didn't buy like a very utilitarian bike to begin with, but they still want to commute to work on like a. But don't have enough money to buy another bike that can put racks on. Like, this is just a I mean, thing. It, it it it's like almost like a a question in search of an answer. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly like, what this I is. feel like. This is a very specific type of person. You know what I mean? Or you mean an answer for search of a question? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, ever? yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. It's like, why, who is going to want this? I, mean, I do like that it has this weird little fender. It's interesting like that. that they didn't extend it at all. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, they could have just hard yeah. mounted. I mean, it's it could have been from here to here. Yeah. And then maybe have an additional strut hard. there. But then they wouldn't be able to claim 350 grams. Oh, yeah. It's got to be a race rack. Tail it's fin. so bizarre. Mm. The Japanese. <laughs> the and Japanese. Just got real, <laughs> he just real got hungry. Watering. Yeah. Mm, tail fin. Uh, I, I really enjoy how Vela News makes me go all the way back to the beginning every time I click back. Oh, yeah, it's kind of stupid. Uh, ratchet. Little Ratchet Boy. So, Feedback Sports, I'm a huge fan of their products. Mm-hmm. Um, at the shop here, we use uh, Feedback Sports uh, heads in all the, the work stands, mm-hmm. um, which are really great because the traditional cam style clamp that you'll find on like the Park Tool, like classic whatever head, they. Because cams are so powerful, when you click them over, they'll actually oh, yeah. crush frames and seat posts. I mean, they don't if you're not a moron. But like, if you're like a new guy at the yeah. shop, you have a likelihood of crushing the frame. Um, their products are built to last. Uh, so I'm excited to see what the hell this is. This is... It's a little... It's a little if you don't want to lug around a bulky torque wrench, this elegant solution is perfect for travel, blah, blah, blah. Also, whoever designed this website and made the text, the, the most important text below the headline to be literally the hardest fucking color to read, you're an idiot. Well, so let's look at this. You have long T25, long five, normal T25. So you have T10 through T30, all the normal metric hex things, uh, cool. and a Phillips head. Is there, Am I missing something, or is there like an extra body that's like a, maybe like a torque thing or something? Hmm? I feel like there might be another thing that we're not seeing. Other than just the standard, yeah, it's, oh, it's a ratchet. It just says, yeah, but yeah, it is a t- or torque wrench. Knew it. It's got a torque thing, so you can torque it up. Let's um turn it torqued. Get it torqued. I would, I would just uh, okay. <laughs> Why is it doing that? <laughs> all right, all right, buddy. All right. All right. Here we so go. two to just ten new meter. now. So the price is pretty good on this because you know the Shimano Pro. The, you know, they're like tool and bar tape, whatever mm-hmm. line. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's that's one of the torque wrenches that I use for in terms of my like lower Newton meter range ones. Um, it goes substantially higher. I think it might be like four to 30 or something like that. Yeah. But uh, it's also more than a hundred bucks. So right. And it probably and it's also not a ratchet, is it? It's a ratchet. Oh, OK, it's all things to all men, all things to all people. Um, one thing cool. uh, I like that I like how small that case is, and it's like a nice setup. It'd be a really nice substitute for a lot of bulky, huge tools. It's cool. It says Gear Max. Maybe that's the technology they're using. We're using straight up Gear Max technology. Gear Max technologies. Um, this looks like a nice little piece of kit. You know, it's a bit pricey for the people that I give gifts to, but you know, it's no three hundred and fifty dollar dad rack. Yeah, I also don't give gifts. So yeah. You don't get gifts? <laughs> I don't get Do or get give gifts. Them. I get gifts all the time, and the gifts as in uh, peanut butter gifts. <laughs> peanut butter gifts. Yeah. You know, that gift from the store. Yeah, the gift peanut butter. Uh, um, two to ten, I mean, that'll handle most things on the most, bike. Yeah, what's more than ten? What, do, what would you want Like, so on Shimano Holotech 2 cranks, the fixing bolt is like 14 nanometers. Oh, okay. Neutron meters. Neutrino. Neutrino uh, meters. Fig Newton meters. Fig Newton meters, <laughs> yeah. I would eat a meter of Fig Newtons. A whole fig newton, fig newton meter. That's like three feet, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. But only if it was uncut. Like if you had a uh, log of fig newton. Dude, uncut fig newton. Oh, that's you know just... what? Like fuck the cookie. Just hook me up to the machine that squirts. The... <laughs> and just like. <laughs> just turn off the cutter. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Can't turn off the cutter. Turn off the cutter. Uh, what else we got in here? We got, we got a little uh, roll. Roll box, a box um, for your tools that has wheels. Five fifteen better come with some goddamn tools. Yeah, it's not gonna come with tools. It's not gonna come with tools, is it? Nope, it doesn't. Doesn't come with any tools. Um, but it's a roll. I mean, box. it's it's interesting because like it doesn't lock the up. market for this is not fucking home mechanics or like stocking stuffer people. This is a uh, this is for professional race mechanics so they can have their shit with them. 
roll it out when they're doing uh, support for, for their team or if mm -hmm. they're doing mutual support and open it up and have everything set up. So yeah. uh, that's, I mean, if you're a pro, if you like, I wouldn't hand park tool 500 fucking dollars for anything. Yeah, However, yeah, right. like it's pretty neat. I bet, I bet you there's a product from like Otterbox or something that's just like this, but has like pick and pull foam that you can make your own little. Yeah, I went to Harbor Freight and I found that exact thing that has wheels oh. and an extendable thing for like Harbor Freight for like forty bucks. Really? Yeah, it's that's pretty cool. Less than a, like less than sixty bucks for three different types: plastic, stainless steel, and like a different reinforced one for all less than hundred dollars. And they got wheels. They got they look very similar. But it says Park Tools is blue, blue. Uh, you know, Brainless wheels. Oh, is Melhouse going to join us? Are you going to uh, join us? Uh, Turn it up. Or is he trying to? Uh, More like jailhouse. Jail. More like he's my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, um, the amount of. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> hey, are you gonna join us or what? Huh? Huh? Yeah, way to what? just what? fucking. What am I here for? Way to slam doors while we're recording a thing. Yeah, slam it up. Uh, slam we're we're up. we're we're just checking out what by, uh, Velo News is is hey. like uh, recommending for. Get in the frame. I'm trying. You I'm, fucking I'm mongoloid. Like fat I'm mongoloid. too fat with my two fats. Okay. Look at that. Well, this is the non-white boy crew. Woo. Where's Chris? Yeah, he, dude, and he's wearing the oh, POC jacket. Good. Yeah, that's a that's a it's a good little little thing. Uh, POC cycling clothing is only worn in our shop by the Filipino guy. <laughs> Zang. Zang. <laughs> More like zangitude. We got the Pino boys. Pinoy boys. <laughs> Boys. Boys. <laughs> uh, muck off ultimate bike cleaning kit. You know, I really do like muck off's products. I don't know, but I've actually never used their lubrication, but, uh, I definitely have used this pink bike lust spray. Oh, hi Andy. Yeah. How's it going? How's the, how's the pink stuff equate to other stuff that you're using? Like why, why is that better than simple bean? It's fucking not. Oh. But it's not any worse. Yeah. And it's pink. Yeah. And it smells better than Simple Green. Oh, yeah. What did it smell like? Uh, if I remember correctly, like kind of like neutrally fruity, like not overbearingly fruity. I would I would pay a little yeah. extra money for that. The bottle's really cool, too, though. You can like reuse the bottle when you're done. It's just, it's it's just, just like pink. It's got pink accessories. Okay. That's cool. It froths a little bit. More. It froths yeah. yeah. <laughs> whatever happened to, whatever happened to WD-40 was introducing a bike line of clean cleansers and lubes and then... It all smelled like Axe body spray. Mm -hmm. By design. Mm -hmm. And like the bottles looked like Axe cans. Yeah. That's yeah. fucking crazy yeah. to me. Um, Axe is just making <clears throat> it easier. I do like these brushes quite a bit. I mean, bike cleaning is one of those things where it's like nobody I know Only tools do it. really cleans their bikes. <laughs> I know, right? And you clean bikes if you're in charge. This is another like pro guy thing. Like you, if you were in charge of, of maintaining a fleet of like race bikes, you would have to clean them. Um, but like all, our guys are like commuters and scumbags. They don't really. They want to do the absolute least amount possible. Yeah. Like I always tell customers, like, well, you can do what I don't do, which is like clean your drivetrain and like make sure everything's nice, or you can just like <laughs> dump a year's worth of abuse into a bike and then yeah. replace everything on it. That's what I tell people too. I'm yeah. like, you can do this, or you can be lazy like me. But that's a nice. Oh, it's not cheap. How much? One hundred five. One hundred five group set. Damn. How about I get a five gallon bucket from an alley? And just buy some simple green. Yeah. That's always the problem with these things is like the pricing. It's like, that's a great idea. And then you look at the price and you're like, I'll stick to my ghetto method. Thank you very much. Right. And there's no way to break that because they're always going to have but like, to do it. Like add it up real quick. Cause let's just say like it's a kit, you know, like a single bottle of like lubricant is of that size. It's usually it's like 12 bucks, 20 bucks for Dumontech yeah. here. Plus like muck off ain't no Dumontech. <laughs> Muck off and now do my own tape. Shots fired. Shots, Shots fired. fired. Muck fired. But let's just say it's, it's three, it's three bottles of lubricant at like you know twelve ninety nine. Yeah. Yeah. Thirty like thirty six dollars right there. Looks like it's got a little tub of jack off lotion right there as yeah. well. Yeah, with its own box. It's reasonable, but it's also just like unnecessary. Your so bike has got to be fucking dirty to spend a hundred dollars. Yeah. For cleaning products. Well, maybe that's like the wife telling the husband, hey, clean your goddamn bikes. Or maybe you're addicted to methamphetamines and cleaning your bike yeah. it just brings you joy. Yes, it's great. Um, oh, my God. Toe spikes uh, for cyclocross? Uh, Why are they that much money? 
Horse Engineering has produced an ultimate set of spikes for any and all cyclocross conditions. Available in Thai. Oh, they're light. Although Thai is really not very abrasion resistant, so I'd probably pick the stainless steel ones. Um, but, I mean, how much abrasion is in, you know, peanut buttery mud? It's pretty soft. It's pretty, like, not abrasive. I mean, I guess if you're only running in mud. Yeah, and never walking on anything else. Well, it is for cyclocross racing, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It is, again, we're talking about high-end race gifts for mechanics or the racers themselves. That's what all these things have been so far. It's really interesting to me that it comes in a Plano. Like, one thing that's been funny to me lately is, like, superfluous uh, packaging. Uh, we got those dyno generator hubs mm -hmm. recently, and it comes in, like, a box, which is made of... It's like um, like a nylon stiff sided box with a zipper, and it's got its own mm -hmm. custom foam and stuff. And it's a thing where it's a hub. You can't use a hub by itself, so you're, it's going to show up, and you just open the box and throw it in the garbage, even though it's like not just a piece of plastic. Have you paper. bought any new electronic equipment? Yeah, it all comes like in that. It all yeah. is like that. dude. The fucking the like idea. the like Lenovo X1 Carbon comes in a cardboard box, but it's a cardboard box where <laughs> the lids are sealed. With magnets, and when you open the two like halves of it, it at the center where that's holding the laptop raises. Up, it like moves up. Oh, shit. So See, that's great. Okay. That's cool. But that's, but that's a paper. That's thing. the thing is that like, give me a cool paper box. Make me live in a paper box. That's what Apple has done. Make me live in a paper box. Make you live in a paper box. I know. See anything you like in here, Hill Mouse? Uh ooh, new time pedals. Yeah, let's check these out. Three hundred dollar pedals. Uh, strangely, because I like time I, pedals so much, it's like I'll I'll, catch these on the the downside when people are selling used ones. What? Animals, so yeah. the new time design all has that like flat, you know, plate flat stand, rail, yeah, plate stand, little steel spring. Mm -hmm. uh, they've never been as good when you do like a rounded actual bent steel yeah. gauge tube that that works so much better i've never been happy with that my my heavy preference is for the round springs as well yeah the time classics like we were talking about earlier like i don't like alliums and i've broken so many of the springs and alliums and i've never broken any springs on the classic time pedals and it's a moot point anyway since like nobody is using clipless pedals anymore at least here um, but these are gorgeous i wonder what the i mean it looks as though they've sort of transitioned this profile so that you can actually <coughs> maybe stand on these. Looks like there's like little holes for pins and stuff. Yeah, yeah, you can screw some pins in them. And, I mean, it's also been, what, like 10 years since they've produced, I mean, maybe even more since an Allium pedal has been produced. Except in like the huge, like downhill body version. And these the are Z like, pedals? Yeah, and these are like sleek, light, kind of like the like Shimano version. More GoPro stuff. I'm, I'm honestly a little bit flabbergasted at how high the price of stuff for biking has gotten. I think it's, well, here's, I think it's become more accessible. I think that since the, like, Lance Armstrong years, many more people are into cycling, so. Yeah. Well, again, if there's more people in the market, that means you can charge them whatever you want. Yeah. I like that new bag that they did. It's kind of cool looking, but I would never pay the money. That's all they have for their gift guide? Um, What's up with the Victoria airliner? Oh, oh, huh, okay. this has been done. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, it's okay. interesting. I know that I'm messed up because I continually harp on price, but this is clearly just a piece of extruded plastic. Mm -hmm. yeah. But don't forget the box that it comes in. We we're just talking. I bet it comes in a fancy ass box. It comes in a box. It's a transformer that becomes your little friend. Yeah, or it's like a coil, like. This thing coiled up as like the shell of a snail or some shit. You that know, would be cool. It'll just be that, and they can excuse it on the Pentax. So let's see what's up with uh, the Radivus today. The, the Radivus. 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 <laughs> can you believe? Bro, do you even computer? You guys follow Chapman Cycles on Instagram? Mm -hmm. Shit's pretty tight. Just. Hmm. Those look like something Andy would wear. Those shoes. <laughs> they do. That dunst. What do you think about the aesthetics of this bike? I 
I actually kind of like it. Is it a crust bite? Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like that except for the beer. I really like it. Is that a leather? No, it's like waxed canvas, that bag. Yeah, they have a bottle of beer in the. What is with cycling and beer? They're both fun. Oh, are they? Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't really know. Fun. Drinking and, and cycling are both really fun. Uh, you wouldn't know. You look at a bar. Uh, <laughs> that's really cool. I like this. I I am super into non flashy bike paint jobs. I I so, really like them. So I really like this like subtle off white, light thin details. The details are mainly the parts. That's cool. Hmm. That is cool. It's interesting. That there's some crust here. Crust. Oh. Yeah. It's also an FSA headset. It's <laughs> it's good enough, but it could really deal with some like black sharpie marker yeah. on the letters. Fuck shit, ass. What does that say? Plante. Plant. Ooh, Ooh. That surface tape. Is that surface? Mm -hmm. Oh, they're like killing tape. it. Yeah, it feels like shit, but it's really cool looking. And they make like. A 40, 40 variations. Yeah, they make it's a like ton of colors. All woven bar tape. It's that's really like, sick. That's like some, like, I live in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Mm -hmm. Like, bar tape. Morello. Yeah. I made my own Adobe Hut. Look at the little, like, wingus on the front of the fork. <laughs> yeah, it's a little wingus. <laughs> Whatever, it's some side pipe. It's, uh, yeah, it's just it's a little aerodynamic It's a Robert pipe. Plant bike. It's, a Robert <laughs> it's, it's, it's aerodynamic. It's got the pipe. fucking side pipe. Oh, so you bolt that directly into your frame? You, oh, you bolt your bag yeah. into your frame? That's kind of cool. Especially if it's like a, a support. That's kind of yeah, yeah. That's really cool. I did yeah, that. that's been a. It's been a thing. That's clean. Hate yeah. Those Love it's funny how they pitched in for the Tiagra. The Thompson Tiagras become it's, good. I mean that that one has, but I'm just like wow for that kind of build up, especially the bag. That bag is worth more than the frame. I guess your budget's got to break somewhere. I mean, yeah, you I fucking so. have this bike, but then you yeah. put Tiagra and an FSA headset and in it. BB7s. BB7, like, the road ones are terrible. That's okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a I'm using though. a BB7 on my commuter, and I only kind of hate it. Praxis yeah. works? Yeah. Like, you're just like, it's you're so close to not sucking. <laughs> I'll honestly take like the Shimano, like... M3, whatever, like the cheapest possible mechanical disc brake that Shimano makes over the, the BB7s. Wouldn't it be great if Tektro made like their budget line in the same design as Aspire, just like made. Yeah, yeah get, get in that from me. Let's get that. Cool. that from me. So what were you saying? If Tektro were to copy the TRP Spire design, but make it not a hundred something dollars per caliper, and it would I'm sure they will. I mean, it's, it's the same so company. Close. They don't it's need to so copy close. anything. Like, no, exactly. That's why the patent should just like sort of trickle down. Trickle pad. I like how there's still like a little bit of love in Prawley's heart for NJS <laughs> track bikes and fixed gear shit. Yeah. Well, I mean, there really is in all of us, right? Yeah. That's yeah. the most refined sense of a bike that you can get. I think Healy's. Dude, Heelys. Heelys are, Heelys are the most refined. Until I, till I put on my Heelys. SPD Heelys. <laughs> SPD I think it's interesting Heelys. that they sort of like winkled the bars up instead of back. It's that gives you that uh, upswing. No, I, I mean sparkle motion. Yeah, I like it, but again, it's, it's this is more like an art piece than it is a bike that I would be like, oh man, I want to ride that. Yeah, that's true. I would. Like that thing, I would be like, "Oh, cool! I bet that ride's cool. It looks cool. I want to ride that." Oh, so the Cub House is like a bike show. Oh, it's, okay. It's a shop. Where is it? Uh, somewhere in California. Oh, it's in California. California well, fuck them, man. Yeah, then fuck that place. Uh, there's all Nito. All I need to know about California, oh, dude, dude. This, this is you got it. You got it. All dude. I need to know about California is that they don't let licorice into the state because it might have lead. It'll you can imagine a more like, dude. That is like, there's, there's better ways to hate licorice. Yeah, you just spit it out. You just fucking hate it. They import massive amounts just to chew it up and spit it out. So and they enlist an army of children to go. Bleh! That's pretty dope. I like that. Right there. 
everything. You know it's classy because instead of having being covered in beer, it's covered in wine paraphernalia. Yeah, exactly. And it's got the jewel breaks. It's got the fucking cobalto. Cobalto. Hey, cobalto. It's got the fucking arrow bottle. It's got the fancy house. Yeah, this is you know this is. Worse. I mean, just as you go through it, it like it gets like riper and riper. It's spaghetti. Spaghetti. Got that old school halftone. Medici. What's, what saddles on it? Is it Medici? Concord. Okay. Yeah. But like, <laughs> it's like sick. a lavender Concord. That's, that's cool. really cool. Oh man, that saddle. And not to mention triple triangle. Yeah. Like, when have you seen an Italian road bike with a triple triangle? My man's going to get sued by GT. Yeah. Damn. Gee. It's a good looking bike. The bar tape is the worst well, possible what, color. What's up with that? Why is that so terrible? Why did they go with that? Can like we get a close up of the bar? Lavender would have worked. White would have worked. Blue would have worked. What? Black would have kind of not worked. So yeah, what about the I think for What's how serious? weird of a bike it is, it's stark, it but it, it's still. I mean, it matches so the odd. color. It's not even like a crazy shittily bike. wrapped. Yeah. Cork, yeah. red tape. Yeah, uh, in vino veritas. Holy shit. Whatever. That is a very cool bike, though. Cool, I sir, like, I'm, I'm kind of into this, like, oh, it's Rafa. Fuck that, man. Rafa. Um, bedrock bags. This might be cool. Genies are ne- neat. Oh, st- dude, quill stem disc brakes? Hell yeah. Quill stem disc brakes? Yeah. <laughs> got that quill stem disc brake. Yeah, dude. I like that. That's I'm already digging this. This is neat. You got a compact, campy. Uh, Dude, oh, it had, it had down tube, down tube uh, water bottle mounts too. That's fucking sick. This is awesome. Yeah, I love this. It's like trash the weird bag? lugs. Is that trash bags? Dude. What is that? Yeah, that's trash, trash bags. bags. Dude, this is a sick bike. <laughs> like I love it. This is great. It's more pictures. Yeah, yeah, love it. <laughs> the fancy bag, anything, yeah. Uh, that bar tape should offset this bag. Exactly, it's like right? the same color. Dude, that is an awesome bike. <laughs> Holy shit, that's really cool. This is uh, with the front rack, and I also like that it's. You can tell that it's ridden. Oh yeah, that's like so like so, so many people nowadays just have these sick bikes, and it's <gasps> like, damn, Danang, Danang, that is cool. So the, and they're webbed too. Those uh, are the same lugs that Skip has on his Decordi. Yep, those are fucking sick. The only lugs that saved the bike from being completely destroyed when whoever the previous owner was ran into the back of a car. Grand Tour. Is this a mod? Is this like a resto mod? Is or is this a new bike? Let's read the words. Read the words, dummy. Read the words. Why? Bought it from a shop in oh, Seattle. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oops, sorry. Grab me a beer. Uh, okay. Put in the fridge. You'll see him. It was uh, Issaquah bicycle, I bet. So it came with disc brakes. That's beautiful. That's really cool. How's your nose doing? Oh, just all all fucked up. Yeah? Always. Is it- some some minutes it's like horribly runny and just like dripping all over my I'm not like talking to people and trying to hold my shit together and it's just like running down my nose like <laughs> running down my lip. It's gross. Like- yeah, take it. I don't give a yeah. Welcome, Max. Why don't you pop your head in the frame for a second? I'm so glad. I think I offered you that like three months ago, and you're like, no, nah, I don't want that wheel. And now that you need a wheel, like, yeah, fucking take that wheel. Polar Tech? And you can Fleecing. Could you please explain to me what's going on here? He's riding a bike. Oh, he's Obviously getting red. He's shredding because he has Polar Tech on his bike. Can you just get into frame? It's Look at lightweight. You. You can put yeah. stuff in it. It's fucking stretchy. Oh. oh, look at that stretch. Boring. 
I love how it knows that I hate Jason Blaha, so his face pops up in my suggested YouTube stream. Just a constant. Did we do this? We didn't do this yet. Because this is beautiful. It is, because it's a ghetto fix gear on made from a Jos that's been like what resprayed? Yeah. Cool, I've seen that. But it's kept like every layer of its existence, you know. I'm every... really I'm really into this. I think this is beautiful. What kind of hopes is it? I like the brake levers being open. Yeah. In an open position. I was gonna comment on that, but no, that's <laughs> that's we're gonna ignore that this is like this. <laughs> Both of them are like that. I yeah. Mean, maybe it's on purpose. Probably not. People don't know what the fuck they're doing. That seems like someone who knows what the fuck they're doing. Like the person that built that bike. But maybe they just don't care. They just, we did that. Yeah, we're back to this. All right, last on the list. Uh, oh, what was the guy? Tavern Cycles. Yeah. I do want to touch on this real quick. I don't know if you guys are uh, avid users of Instagram. My man here just got a, a smartphone. <laughs> and he's apparently allergic to the world because his eyes are fucking cashed the fuck hey, out. Hey, <laughs> cash to the world. Cash money a million eyes. Cash <laughs> money a million eyes. <laughs> Brian Chapman. Big ups to Brian Chapman. Um, this, this guy is really killing the game. I mean, some of the stuff... You know, I'm not so into, like, the classic look of bikes. I don't really give that much of a shit. But stuff like this, you know, he used to, like, braze custom free wheels together. That's, That's fucking cool, right? Yeah. It's really neat. And it's something that people want. Yeah. I kind of, I'm probably in the comments somewhere here. Would it, like, hold up to the torque from having that big of a gear on it? I don't know. I did reference the Peppers mod. From way back in the day. That's absolutely insane. Pepper's mod. Pew, 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 pew. Uh, I think I did a video on Pepper's mod. You can, uh, you know, Pepper. look it up. Uh, Pepper's mod was my like Seattle mod to uh, three speed and uh, coaster brake hubs. So, but yeah, back to Chapman. Are you like leaving or something? Uh, soonish, yeah. Are you gonna? I'm just getting warm and really cool as hell. I think I'm gonna leave as well. Oh, bye. Bye. I just, I, bye. Bye. If I'm riding my mountain bike home, it's gonna take a little bit longer. Yeah, but just look at the work here. Look at it. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at it. Wait, wait, wait. Go back. Was that the end of chain stays? Right. There. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. That's so well done. Seven <laughs> 17s. Got those specialized turbos. The work is really clean. So, I mean, you know, if you're watching this, go ahead and give Chapman Cycles a follow. Uh, really nice work. What the fuck is going on with that seat post? Dummy. Dummy post for painting or something. Yeah. Chapman Cycles is, is doing God's work. The on that house Suck my finger. <laughs> Look in your nose. <laughs> Alright, so with a, a brief foray into Chapman Cycles Instagram, um, bike BK Rumor. Or, and I haven't looked at this yet today, so we're gonna we're gonna see what's what. I haven't looked at this site in months. Let's look at the editor's choice awards. Who's Tyler? Why should we listen to what Tyler says? Tyler's an all-rounder. Okay, so he has opinions about all these things. Uh -huh. Okay, I see. We're kind of simpatico, more or less in line with Tyler. 
road bike. That has a strange look to it. It's very. Airy. Is it how they photographed it? Because the the rear wheel is sort of blocked out, and this looks super. Doesn't that have a strange look to it? It's super aero. It's like exaggerated. Yeah, but it's aero. got like Kona Dew geometry. It's like an aero endurance bike. That is hotter. Damn. That continuous line from the head tube to the rear dropout is key. All right, we got a mountain bike. Who won? The only guy here who rides mountain bikes with the mountain bike helmet on. Uh, Pizzari? Yeah. What do you think about that? Pizzari. Um, Pizzari. I, I don't really have experience riding those bikes, but yeah. they seem pretty good. What was the brand that was just getting shit on the other day? We won't mention names. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You were right there. You said it was the hottest thing ever, and you, you told me that it was there. Yeah. Uno. Uno. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, uh... It's a mafioso. Um, yeah. Fucking run and make work scams. I'm kind of biased, because I love Kona. Kona's awesome. And Kona will just, like, give you a frame if you break your frame. Yeah. For, like, ever. They've done... They, yeah. They're like the best one. Look at how satisfied this boy is. Look at this boy. He's so sad. He's like, I love Wait, Kona bicycle. I love the colors. Right there. No, no. Right there. there it is. Yeah. Get that counter. God, they are such fucking stoners. Yeah. Oh, no. They literally uh, have rolling papers. Three rolling papers. At the where'd the fart machine go? This is just a cup. <laughs> it's a. Uh, what? Okay, that's an e bike. Yeah. 120 oh, newton meters zero. of torque. I've had mixed. Lo what did you do? Did you just? You just in. We have markup tools. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yes. Um, can I get a different color? Wait, just make a big circle with a line through it. <laughs> Except those tires are pretty sweet. It's not letting me. The two point eight minions. Those are some serious tires. Um. So this company, High Bike. Uh, I guess the products are pretty good. Um, they seem to keep changing the Xduro lineup. I had a hell of a time finding a derailleur hanger for a customer for that, that guy. evil Santa Claus. Yes. So My man lays pipe. So Sam Pilgrim rides for High Bike. It's a, it sounds like a movie. Sam Pilgrim? Yeah, Sam Pilgrim. He He's used to ride for NS 99 bikes. 99 problems, and they're all related to his heart medication. And he switched, <laughs> his, he switched his sponsor to High Bike. Yeah. And for a little while, he rode their e-bikes, but then he got them to just make him sweet custom mountain bikes. And now he just rides those most of the time. That's pretty cool. What is this? So he does some crazy shit on high bike, so they seem legit to me. He gets, like, crazy huge jumps and, like, just does rides real awesome and um On an e-bike? Yeah. That's on cool. E on high bike e-bikes and not e-bikes. Uh, I don't know if rotor is good or cheap or whatever. Um, you know, I always tell about how when they first came over from Spain, the United States, they wanted me to be one of their reps. Um, I have to say that I don't have any of their products, but I love their aesthetic. They remind me so much of like Carumba double barrel cranks or any shit like that. Like they're like really some some Hog Brothers era Cannondale. Stuff yeah, they're like. they're doing really nice stuff. What is this little box? Is this the uh, like meter, power meter? I yep, I bet it's a power meter. Uh, they also just came out with a couple really sweet mountain bike cranks, like one that's, that's lighter weight and then one that's like designed to smash on. That's a lot of money for a crank set, even with a power meter. That's. It's, I've seen one in person. So David, you remember David? Bellamil? Yeah. Yeah. He worked at the Fremont shop and he ordered, he like saved up a bunch of store credit and ordered a brand new rotor crank set for mm -hmm. his, uh, Steelman cross bike. Yeah. So I got to see it like in person, the quality level was very high. Was it? Yeah. That's it good. was like precision machined and drilled and just like everything was of the utmost quality. Yeah, like I hope to dick around with some rotor stuff at some point in the future. And they're um, like completely modular, so you can change out the spindle. Mm -hmm. And you can change out the rings, the spindle, the offset. Yeah. The, you can do all the things. 
Uh, new XTR is really exciting for me. Yeah. Um, I'm really excited to see how, how Shimano has implemented this, like, okay, so one, like, yeah, there's a new free hub body design. But two, they've licensed it to a bunch of people, so it's not like that debacle with their 10-speed stuff where you were sort of locked into Shimano for the first year. They're letting a bunch of people. It was DT Swiss, um, probably Mavic. I don't know. They're, they're, like, letting people use the design, so that's cool. Yes, that's a bag of drugs. <laughs> Meanwhile, my bike comes with the cheapest SRAM 12-speed drivetrain that fits on a regular Frida body, which is crazy. It works pretty well, too. That's kind of neat. Yeah. I think this is ugly as fuck. That's this, this we, linkage we talked line. about this. Yeah, we didn't talk too, about yeah. the Adroit, though. I have not seen Like, that. this is really cool. You see how it's integrated into the frame up? Well, you can't see me pointing, but up top here? To this me... is the markup. To me, this is a beautiful design. Like, lefty and strange suspension. Gorgeousness and gorgeousity. So, are you guys are you guys getting any bike-related presents this year for people? Uh, I don't know. Like, you're so coy. <laughs> like, don't screw it up, Max. I don't know. You bought John a new hat, <laughs> a new cycling cap. Perhaps. Uh, All right, your boy's leaving. Peace. On the real though, should we call it pedal files? That's fine. <laughs> as long as the as long as the, the like image is like a bunch of little kids. And they're all riding little kids' bikes. I don't think so. <laughs> Have a good night. Ride safe. Bye. Creaky forks. Yeah, crown steer unit. It's called the Stifler. There are a couple companies that avoided that entirely by machining the steer tube. Like the steer tube and crown are all one piece. Oh, one. cool. Do you have to press your factory steer tube out? I mean, technically, you just have to replace the fork. But if it's within the warranty... No, period, what I'm saying is that these guys are offering a new steer tube. I guess if you have the correct tools and equipment and the I mean, knowledge... Look at this one. This has clearly been pressed out of a factory fucking fork. You know what I mean? I think what it is is some of them you can... Like, it's like a permanent install. Like, if you remove it, it'll damage the crown to where you hmm. put another one in. Oh, you have to send it back to him. That's what you have to do. Oof. <sighs> These might be cool. Five spoke carbon gravel bike wheels. That's so funny. This bike looks like a fake bamboo bike. Right. Um, so you guys know, I've always been a fan of composite wheels just because of the aesthetic. I think the aesthetic is wonderful. Uh, unfortunately, aside from head three spokes, they, they often, they leave so much to be or desired. like Kamit, the like, like, Karimas? No, the Mav, uh, Mavic, IO, no, the IO5. That's what it is. Sure. But I mean, not ne necessarily just for track use. Yeah. Like, not, I, not, I, I not like a $4,000. Like, Fear, F-I-R, Fear made some nice ones. Karima made some nice ones. Oh, but, the, the Karima four-spoke is... Yeah, the Karima four-spoke, which is a true four-spoke. They're cool, but... Mad and, and even, <laughs> like, I will I will ride Aero spokes. Would you always I won't ride Spinergy? Yeah. Would you ride a Mad Fiber? Yeah. I'll ride whatever. Okay. You think of my, like, low-speed, high-drag fucking cycling is, like... Like, even if I was just riding along and I had total wheel failure, I'd go, ow, my chin. <laughs> You have like you have like a <laughs> natural sucks. ability to crash really. That's well. true. I do have uh, the ability to eat shit. I just that's um, an important skill to have, like to to crash gracefully. These are interesting to me. I mean, I'm not going to be interested when I see the price, but uh, they look they're they're basically like if Aerospoke wasn't right. made of plastic. They actually made a good wheel. Yeah. I wonder jerks. if they would feel harsh compared to a regular spoked wheel on really rough. I don't know. I mean, you got real fucking big tires. Yeah. You know? Tubeless, low pressure. Wow, they're like $2,000. But, but you know what? Nowadays, the, here's the thing. Here's the thing, folks. We've had fun tonight, but let's get serious for a minute. Uh, back in the days when you had rim brakes, spending lots of money on wheels was... 
it was a rich man's game or a fool's errand because your fucking rim is part of your brake system. And so you could buy the nicest fucking wheels ever. And you're just going to, if you're actually riding your bike and not just going to the cafe, you're going to destroy your wheels, you know? But nowadays you have cartridge bearings, disc brakes, um, and big tires to protect the rims. It's like, yeah, it might be two grand, but that might be the last two grand you spend on disc wheels ever. Yeah. You'll just ride those. Yeah. For their, like... I mean, fat tire plus disc brake plus cartridge bearing equals, you can basically have your forever wheels. It, unless um, you have a bit bad crash. Uh, unless the, uh, the spacing standard changes, which it will. Well, no, I mean, that's more of a function of like, if you need to N plus one constantly. Um, yeah, if, but like if, if you like have a good bike, that like builds it up, and then you're like, oh, I'm gonna sell it and buy the next new one, the next year. <laughs> no, that's where I step in. <laughs> <laughs> Wolf Tooth, Wolf Tooth is really killing the game right now. They make really good stuff. They do, except for the tan pan. What you got against the tan pan? They're just kind of like, it's not just me, by the way. Also, like I've set them up before, and then I've also hopped in when someone else was setting it up and like swearing, they couldn't fucking get the shifting to be consistent. They could get the, they could get the shifting correct, but not for a long period of time. It's just like hit or miss. Basically. It's kind of hit or miss. So uh, maybe they've revised the design. I mean, that was the very first series of Tampan. Uh, oh, cool. J Ben. We're always a fan of J Ben's here. Those hubs look really cool. They're really big. Yeah. I bet they're loud as fuck. Yeah. And very like, Nice stiffness for better wheel um, sustainability in the long run. Ryan Leach's free mountain bike course? Yeah. You can learn how to bunny hop, how to ride. He's all about riding flat pedals. That's pretty hot. Specialized paint department. Just yeah, I want to give a huge shout out to Specialized for really upping what is to be expected from basically factory bikes. I mean, maybe this one isn't commonly available, but like even their stock shit that we've seen lately, especially our like you know disc road and cross bikes are phenomenal. The Smart Weld. Yeah, Smart Weld I thought was ugly at first. You just have this fucking dumbass forged head tube and bottom bracket that's got these big ugly welds, but. It grew on me in the same way that, like, a lot of the shit that Cannondale did over the years grew on me. It's like, yeah, lefty, well, bleh, and then I, like, love it now. But then you think, because you think about it, and you go, like, oh, that actually makes a lot of sense. What was the one that Bob had? That one had kind of a crazy paint job, right? Yeah. It was, like, the... the newspaper clippings all over the fork or something? It was, something, like, a graffiti. Like, it was, like, Mike Giant or something. It was, like, some collaboration. That was such a cool It track. was cool. <laughs> um, did you guys see the new Cannondales? Yeah. The vintage style. Yeah, these these they are like the nineteen ninety nine graphics and paint job, but they're like a nine hundred gram cross country frame. Yeah, these things are really, really get me going. They got the Ocho and the old the head the, the head shock logo on yeah. the fork. Yeah. Really, like that's, really beautiful. That's pretty just. Especially like having like as I was growing up, my dad worked in a Cannondale dealership, and so like I got to see those bikes in the shop when they were new when I was a little kid, and I was just like, "You oh, love them, shit! That's like the coolest thing I've ever seen." You like, single-handedly just broke my my American dream fallacy. <laughs> Why? Because we're never gonna escape poverty. You're, you're two generations into working at bike shops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have less of a chance of escaping than, than like, people escaping the ghetto. Um, <laughs> bike ghetto. Uh, this has been kind of a long one. I wanted to cut it short. I really thank you guys for coming on, as usual. It's fucking awesome. Darian pieced out like a little fucking bee. Um, oh, wow. And I did want to also say, like, uh, uh, what are you, maximum overdrive? Maximum shredditude. I tried a couple different ones, but like, some of them were already taken. Uh, did I spell it wrong? You put two D's in there. Uh, oh, there it is. Where? Mud on my, mud on my bra. This? Yeah. Yeah, this is Max. <laughs> this is definitely... 
Oh, you're in there somewhere. How do you know this person? I don't know. Uh, maybe I saw him play at a house show or something. Anyway, find Max on Instagram at Maximum Shreditude, even though we can't find it currently. Millhouse, as usual, is uncreative pseudonym. Uh, he posts fairly dank memes, mostly about being a sad boy. Uh, and as usual, the underscore yellow underscore Sheldon at Instagram. Um, I've shifted my gears entirely. Yeah, it says Tokyo Sex Wale, but it's me. Trust me, it's me. Um, now I'm just making fun of people. Please hold these tentacles for Kurt Eichenwald. Um, and uh, I'll go on the Wish app and just find the insane shit that they... Uh, Swastika socks. Swastika cycling socks. Uh, what I said is true. It, the Wish app is wild as fuck. Truly visual culture shock at its best. It's like English for illiterate people. It's really, it's really true. The stuff that they're posting on, on Wish in the cycling section, it's mind-blowing. I did not Photoshop this. This is how they're advertising. So, okay, so number one, all of their cycling garb is worn inside out. Um, <laughs> um, like, at first I was like, why, why is it like this? And they're, yeah, they just make the models put them on inside out. And also, these are hilarious to me. They're like you, can flowers. You, well, they're like beautiful. Can you like tell what this is? Lines of fart gas. Can you tell what this is? It's a, it's a chamois on your. It's saddle. a chamois. They they must have made too many chamois and decided <laughs> in China HQ that there was going to put a drawstring on it. Yeah, it's good to go. Exactly. <laughs> um. So give me a follow. Uh, you'll probably be disappointed, but you know that's life, isn't it? Um. Yeah, and it's just, it's just me being a shitbox. Uh, lots of workout stuff. Lots of me making fun of Gary Busey. Wait. Huh. What's that? What was the brand of that stem again? That was a pretty excellent one. Hidden Nation. Hidden Nation stem. Yeah. If you also hate Rafa, just... Uh, It's interesting. The people who subscribe to the Yellow Sheldon YouTube probably haven't seen this yet. Yeah. If you need uh, an upgrade uh, to your kid's bike, I'm like DMX. I can fucking make it happen. Custom. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I got opinions. We all had opinions. So, uh, thanks, folks. Thanks for uh, slogging through another uh, pedal file. <laughs> We gotta revamp the name of this. <laughs> gotta focus group it. Yeah, focus group it. Um, if I click the button, we'll sign off. Have a good night. <laughs>